Hi guys, today I want to talk about power dissipated in uh, resistors when they are in series and in parallel. So on the left hand side I have got a uh, series circuit, it's got a battery and also there's two resistors in our circuit. One has got a resistance of R, the other has got a resistance is twice as much as 2R. And again on the right hand side uh, we've got uh, a similar circuit but this time the resistors are set up in parallel. Uh, so we've got a resistance R and a resistance 2R there and we're going to have a look at how is the how is the power dissipated in series and parallel. So in series the current is the same everywhere. Okay so if the current is the same everywhere what we can do is apply this formula here P equals I squared R. So the I is a constant that's not changed the only thing that's going to change is our resistance so uh, in a series circuit, the greater the resistance, the greater the power dissipated. So if I double the resistance, the power dissipated by that resistor compared to the other resistor is going to be twice as much. Uh, okay, uh, power in parallel. Uh, well, this time, okay, if I got my voltmeter across all these components, the voltage would be the same. The potential difference across the components is the same. Okay, so now... We can apply this formula, P equals V squared over R. So, in a parallel circuit, the greater the resistance, we actually get less power dissipated relative to the other resistors. Okay? Okay, and one way of thinking about this is, well, the voltage is the same. Okay, the greater the resistance, the less current that's going to flow. Okay, so the less current that's going to flow, uh, therefore you're going to get less power dissipated. Okay. Hope that's been useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye for now, guys.